It's about the behavior of a Kenyan-born Australian <laughs> senator. I'm talking about Lucy Geshohi, and she owed the nation quite a bit uh, when she was um, announced as the first black senator, I believe, or first Kenyan senator in Australia. And she even came to Kenya, held talks with uh, uh, quite, some uh, quite a number of people, including the president, Uru Kenyatta. But let me just give you some details about exactly what happened. She has been made to pay back money she allegedly used to fly in two relatives for her birthday party. Uh, we are talking about uh, about 160,993 Kenya shillings to fly in the relatives to her 50th plus birthday celebrations in Adelaide, Australia. Australian media reported that the federal uh, liberal senator billed taxpayers for the two relatives' return airfare from Darwin to Adelaide back in October. After media reports and outrage from social media users, she took to her Twitter handle to say that she had agreed to repay the full amount and she would pay an additional 25% penalty. Now, in terms of what members of the Australian government are entitled to, allowances for official duties such as traveling to or from sittings in the House of Parliament, formal business of parliamentary committees, and attendance to official government functions amongst several others. Now, the claims are that Ms. Kishoi was part of her family traveler allowance, uh, a fund that members of parliament are allowed to use to pay for family members to join them. They are, however, only allowed to do so if the traveler is on parliamentary, electorate, or official business at the Commonwealth's expense. And this a birthday party is, is definitely not official business. Hmm. Honorable Laji, yes. what, were, what were your first thoughts when you heard about this story? <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to trigger me. But uh, first, anyway... Uh, it was unfortunate, and uh, and I think we have to learn lessons from now, mm -hmm. or because all of these are the same rules. All Commonwealth parliaments have same rules, mm -hmm. and I agree. Yes, and uh, what I just want to say is that it is good that Gishohe has come out. You know, the problem for us, we now start running away from the, the from what we have done wrong. The good thing she has come out. She has, she has accepted that it, it was wrong. And she has paid with a penalty. And you know, if as leaders we will be doing that, I don't think even you'll have a lot of people, yes, they will mm -hmm. feel outraged, but they will feel you have accepted your mistake. Mm -hmm. And I think that is one thing Kenyans want us to, uh, to, to, to see from us leaders. Accept your mistake, that indeed I did a mistake. And I'm here carrying my mistake and rectifying that mistake. So I, I, I'm hoping uh, in all that has happened, uh, it is true that even in Kenya, we are not allowed. Not birthday, not what. So I, I, I just want to s tell Gishohi, th these are how we learn lessons when we are, we are in, in public office, that it is wrong to use our relatives. And that is one thing I have always tried. When I was in the Senate, if I wanted, I would have brought in relatives because uh, uh, the, the, the political office, people don't really ask. But I made sure. First of all, I made sure it is a whip's office and it carries Kenya. I had everyone. I had a, a sister from the Somali community. I had a Luya. I had a Kikuyu. I had a Luo. So you could have brought them all. in without Kalenji. anyone knowing the linkage yes, to you. Yes, well, nobody will know. <coughs> and that is one thing we are also fighting right now in, in the county assembly. I am like, you can't be in an institution where you have all your relas working there, strategically put. You can't be, again, the same person doing business with your relas. No, 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 no. And then when you come out and you say that, they put, and I'm wondering how president is going to fight corruption. Because for me right now, uh, I'm going to go on impeachment reasons of a house that they were supposed to buy for the speaker. I understand now this house has become my house that I wanted to sell. How stupid will that I That the house that they were going to buy how, was your house. Yes, my own house. That <laughs> now I come and I tell you, buy this house. Then I come and stay in, and then I come and leave again. Surely, I said, is th if this is how we're going to fight this corruption, we are in problems. But the good thing, they are facts. So you know, the best thing is that they will put the tender documents on the table. They will tell us who tendered. I never even bothered after I came on media and say, we cannot buy a house of 150 million when we have not even done anything for Nairobi. They will think we've gone mad. So I finished that thing in January. But now it comes back. But it is good because, first of all, when you want to put processes in this country, people will fight you because they don't like processes. The only fight I have is that we as Senate 
had passed a very good bill of the county assembly service board. Now, those who started will hate to have that because it brings back structures, how they're supposed to work, mm -hmm. how you're supposed to employ people, how you're supposed to do the standards. You can't believe in Nairobi County, nobody brings a document to say on the board, we went through this tender process, mm -hmm. we have awarded so and so. In fact, it's good the president has said, now when you award, can you show us in the papers who are the owners mm -hmm. of this award mm -hmm. and show us the directors. I awarded? think those are the things that <laughs> start helping, even though we need law also on all of those. Fair things. enough. Let me yeah. bring in the good Senator Ledama Olekina from Narok County. Karibu sana Moshmiwa. Thank you very much. Welcome to the program. I know you've spent some time abroad and I don't know how the rules work there compared to here, but I must say many, many were shocked to see um, what they are calling Kenyan behavior no, 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 in no, Australia. No, 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 no. This, let me tell you something. I know Senator Gishui very well. She's an amazing woman. And she's someone who is very kosher. Yeah. She does the right thing. She's got what her chief of staff, Mike Mondu, is a very, very intelligent fellow. This is a mistake. Yeah. And anyone, this is an administrative error. I know very well that I've spent time with Senator Gishui in Australia. And I've, I've come to really respect her as someone who knows what is right and what is wrong. And I commend her for the wonderful jobs that she did when she realized that this is an administrative error. And she, you know, she requested for an invoice for her to be able to pay back the company. I think um, this boiled down to the issue of, of what is right and what is wrong. And sometimes when you are new in something, you might be able to get yourself in trouble without knowing. But in her case, I can actually attest to the fact that she's a very honorable person. Okay. Yes. What would you say to, to, to Kenyans and Australians who say that mistakes by politicians are forgivable, mistakes by non-politicians, now the rest of us, are not forgivable, that when I make a mistake and forget to file my taxes by the last day, an honest mistake, uh, somebody was sick, I was unable to file taxes, I cannot go to KRA and claim a mistake, forgive me for example. So I will be made to pay, uh, con the consequences will be greater than for a politician. And, and if you look at her tweet, after her tweet, all the comments were by, was by Australians saying, how come you get away with mistakes, but for us we are punished severely well, you know, for them. But two things. One, I can tell you first of all that in Australia, the, the rules that governs uh, gifts of public money are very, very stringent. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, as a politician, you're involved in a lot of work. You as a person are dealing with a lot of work. You know, legislative work, you're dealing with party issues, and you're running around. Even here in Kenya, the same thing. Mm -hmm. You'll find that politicians are so busy. We are busy answering SMSs of sending Harambe money. You're busy <laughs> doing uh, a lot of other issues to do with legislative work. You're busy doing things to do with petitions. You're busy doing things to do with uh, uh, party issues. And sometimes you get overwhelmed. You're a human being. And because you've got another big burden, I would actually say to Kenyans and Australians that um, when you find that a politician has made a mistake, I always say to make a mistake is not a mistake. To repeat the same mistake, then it's it a is mistake. a mistake. Yeah. Because you knew the consequences. In this case, in Australia, if you are gifted, for instance, if you are traveling abroad, and you come in to ask Kenyans who are very charitable, who are very gifting, and you are given a gift worth $200, you have to pay back $100. Because the laws there are very, very strict. That you, that can, you, can, only only, uh, you can only receive a gift up to $100. That is a thing that we ought to be doing here in this country. And also, even the, issue, the rates, uh, the, um, the, the laws that governs per diem in Australia are completely different from here. I, I don't think I would want to mention them because I would get in serious trouble with my colleagues. But they are <laughs> actually very, very, very uh, different, you know. I mean, you can, um, I mean, you can go to a five-star hotel, stay in a five-star hotel, but uh, you then you have to produce a receipt that this is a five-star hotel. But here, I mean, you can go to a one-star hotel and, you know, the rates are still the same. So I think in terms of uh, um, what is expected of uh, politicians, it should be actually high and you should always be on top of, of your game. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind that this thing, you've got uh, staff, you've got a chief of staff who also makes a mistake. He's also human. He's rushing around to control your calendar. 
you know making sure that you 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 you've, you've uh, delivered on your legislative mandate mm -hmm. making sure that you've delivered on your own family issues and okay. also your other issues so you you know they get overwhelmed Okay. So in her case, I would actually say it's a complete mistake. You say it's a complete mistake. Honorable Lachi, before we wrap up on this discussion, uh, let me read a quote in the paper. Kenyans on their part believe the amount is a drop in the ocean compared with the scandals that Kenya is currently dealing with. Well, <laughs> I'll say it's true. Mm -hmm. And I will say uh, the only problem, as you said, now when it is a drop in an ocean, you have more uh, <laughs> penalties than <laughs> when it is what we see. What we're Kenya. seeing in, in the country. But then just to say the same, that... Um, even as Ken I know Kenyans feel yes, uh, you will have you maybe you're sick, you're unable to give in your to 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 ensure that you beat the deadline when you're pu you're, you're you're putting in your carry or whatever. 